guys, so today I want to share with you a hack for staying fit and healthy while in college on a very small budget and living in a room with no kitchen. One way I stay on track with my fitness goals is ordering from Thrive Market. They deliver all of my grocery staples right to my door at a discounted rate. Like for part two. Here's two quick Zoom settings you can change to make online classes so much easier. Open settings and go to video, check touch up my appearance to soften your skin, and press turn on my video when joining a meeting. Audio, mute your microphone when joining a meeting. Here's some more must-have college websites, even if your school's online or in person. This is part three, so if you haven't seen my other videos, check them out. If your school's online, you're gonna have a lot of timed online essays. Grammarly is my favorite tool. It's a little expensive, but it's really good at catching those small grammar mistakes and restructuring your sentences to make them more clear. It saves so much time when editing. This next one is my favorite, so make sure you bookmark it. It's called Corsicle. They have every single course offered at your university in one system. It's super easy to plan the perfect schedule and see what it'll look like on a weekly basis. And it notifies you if a spot opens up, which is awesome. If you're a student, you have to apply to this scholarship. Bad Bunny and Cheetos are giving $50,000 to 10 students. You only need to create a 16 second TikTok video with the they had to weigh a hashtag showing how you're leaving your mark on the community. Tips que le diría a mi yo de universidad parte 2. Número 1. Aprende a usar Excel. Te lo van a pedir en el trabajo, en la universidad, donde sea. Con esto me refiero a un Excel básico intermedio. Les voy a dejar una lista de todo lo que yo utilicé, más que nada en el trabajo. Son cosas así básicas con lo que te puedes defender en cualquier trabajo de cualquier rama si es que te lo piden. Número 2. Aprende inglés. Tal vez algunos de ustedes me van a decir, oye, pero es que en mi universidad no usamos el inglés o en mi trabajo no lo uso. Tal vez no lo vayas a utilizar ahorita con tanta frecuencia, pero te puede abrir muchas oportunidades de trabajo. Mi primer trabajo lo conseguí solo porque yo sabía inglés. Claro que luego se fueron abriendo oportunidades porque ya se vio el potencial en mi rama de especialidad, pero el punto es que aprendan inglés. Y número 3, pero no menos importante, Saca a esa persona al proyecto que no está haciendo nada. Si no te está aportando nada porque tiene que tener la misma calificación que tú, sácalo del trabajo. Y si te da pena o lo que sea, te prometo que al 50% de esa gente no la vas a volver a ver después de la carrera. Hazlo. Since I finished my finals last week, this is what high school didn't tell me about college. A little side note, I'm a first gen to go to college in my family, so it's going to be different for everyone. Winter break is a month long. Yeah, you heard that right. There's two systems. There's the quarter system and there's the semester system. I go to a university with a semester system. I could never imagine myself registering for classes four times. I, I, I would lose my mind. You'll learn how to write a correct essay in college. There's nothing wrong about going to a community college. FAFSA is still confusing to me. The friendships you make in college will last a lifetime. Go to office hours. Just go. Pick a major that you like and that you're passionate about because learning will be fun. Don't pick a university just because it's well known. Pick a university that matches how you learn. For example, I thrive in small classes, so the biggest class ever in my university is 40 students. Please don't make these same mistakes in college, part one. My biggest regret in my first year of college was not taking an intro to computer science course. Every hard STEM major will have to learn how to code eventually, and a lot of people come into college already knowing how, so I wish I started to learn earlier. People you need to avoid in college, part three. If you go into somebody's dorm, bedroom, apartment, and you see a barstool sports flag hanging up on the wall, get the f get out of there, run! That's just like a free red flag hanging up for you to see. This one's a high school red flag, but it also applies to college if anyone names their friend group. Oh my God, where the third floor thought he's you're gone. Anyone trying to flex the difficulty of their major, the amount of credits they're taking, uh, their GPA, Oh, so what internships have you done so far? No. This could be specific to New York City, which is where I went, but anyone who's like talking down on the school like, oh, like I wanted to go to NYU, like I just didn't, like I was waitlisted, like I might transfer. We're trying to flex the other colleges that they got into. We're all here. We all got in here. There's not a competition anymore. I have more. Okay, here are people you need to avoid in college, part whatever. In a binary sense, if you start talking to a girl and she's like, oh my god, thank goodness you're so chill. Like, I never get along with girls. RUN! Why? 
Why don't you get along with girls? Because you're annoying? The answer is always yes. Every campus has one. That man carrying the guitar. Stay away from him. Worse, if you're in a guy's dorm room and he pulls out his guitar, run! Get out of there! Anyone with a stupid nickname, like if people are like, oh, there's Party Pat. Get the fu- don't talk to Party Pat! Our Party Pat was a rapist. If you go out with a group of people and someone gets too drunk, pay attention to how everyone in that friend group treats that person. If they're quick to leave them behind, you're next. When you said it was over, you shot right through my heart. Why you let these hoes tear what we had right apart? Oh, I was so mad. I could have seen this coming right from the start. Ito lagi yung sinasabi ko sa mga estudyante ko nung gumagraduate ng high school na kapag nag-enroll ka ng college, kailangan handa ka, handa ang isip mo, handa ang katawan mo, at handa ang bulsa mo. Hindi po pwedeng tatamad-tamad ka mag-aral doon. Magsusunog ka talaga ng kilay. Dahil wala ka mga ibang maasahan doon, kundi sarili mo lang. Pag binagsak ka ng professor mo, as long na valid yung reason kung bakit ka bumagsak, hindi na pwedeng mababo yun. Yung mga professor doon, kahit nasabihin mong matatanda na sila, yung tipong habang nagre-report ka, tutulugan ka nila, huwag ka. Pagkatapos ng mag-report, babatungin ka nila ng tanong. Kaya marami ako estudyante na ano yun, sinasabi sa akin ngayon na, sana ma'am nung high school ako, magseryoso ako ng pag-aaral. Kasi ang hirap pala nung college. It is day nine of the semester and I am struggling. I've made some interesting decisions this week that may result in consequences, so let's talk about it. I wouldn't necessarily constitute myself as an impulsive person. I mean, I've gotten a couple walk-in tattoos, etc., but I'm not that impulsive. This week, I was definitely impulsive. About a month ago, I made the random decision to slide into this guy's DMs that goes to my college, and um, I invited him to go to Ikea with me. I don't know if you've ever been to Ikea, but that is definitely not the hot first date spot. Well, apparently this random man is not normal and he really loved my first date idea, so woo! So after knowing this man for eight days, I made the impulsive decision to be his girlfriend. I don't really know how things are gonna play out, but like and follow so you can see. I got it pretty like a girl, and he got five stories to tell. See both sides like a girl, see on both sides like a girl. Oh, one more thing for moving into school. Some places, some schools, I know my school did it, they make you fill out a room report. These room reports go into detail of like what's wrong with the dorm. Like if there's cracks in the walls, paint chips, stains, all of that. At the end of the year, they review them and they go through your dorm. And if there's anything like wrong with the dorm that wasn't on the room report at the beginning of the year, they'll charge you for it. So, be as vague as possible. On a couple of videos ago, my friend commented get Velcro command strips. I got those and it chipped the paint off the wall, but I was super vague on my room report. So I said there were already chips on the walls. So that way I didn't have to pay at the end of the year. So be super vague and save your ass and also just be like really careful when you're putting things up on walls, so. I just want money that's calm Teenage never worry about at me uh, nah, nah. I ain't never been with a buddy, with a buddy. She calm so I add it to the tally Madison but I'm calling her Maddie yes. Like Max try send me the addy like, What's the right that I left at the alley? The alley. Like Dre yeah. don't look too shabby Do all these things come from the valley yes. like, I just wanna play with that funny yeah. 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 I really wanna play with that pussy She baby she give me the wet Cause when the roof came in And the truth came out I just didn't know what to do Things you should know before you go to a college party. If you're young, save this video. Do yourself a favor. Wear shoes that you don't care about. You will thank me for that piece of advice later. Don't get your expectations too high for the music. Sometimes it's good, but sometimes it's not. Sometimes they let one of the brothers just play a remix that they made. Always stay with your friends. People you meet at college parties can have all sorts of intentions, so just make sure you have good people around you. Let me know if you want a part two.